guys and welcome back to QC Makeup Academy's YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to clean and dry and reshape your makeup brushes by QC. These are the ones you receive when you sign up to their makeup course. So I am going to be showing you guys how I clean them and I'm going to be showing you how to clean the face brushes and the eye brushes. Mine are really dirty because I've been using the heap so I look forward to cleaning them and showing you how I do it. So there are two different ways to clean your brushes. You can just use your hand if you find that works best for you or you can use a type of brush cleaning glove. I use the Sigma brush cleaning glove and it does look a little bit weird but it works really really well. It's got a side for your eyes and all it is is just different textures. It really gets in and gives it a really nice deep clean and it's got a side for your face. So without further ado I will give you guys a little demonstration on how I clean them. So right in front of me I've got everything that I need. I've got my spa brush cleaning glove from Sigma, my two brushes I'm going to show you how to clean, my shampoo to clean them with, my absorbent towel and my tree to hang them in to dry. So we're going to turn our water on and I just want it to be about a lukewarm temperature, nothing too hot. And for the first brush I'm going to show you how to clean it using my hand and I'm just going to be using this eye brush right here by QC. All I'm going to do is wet my hand. Then I'm going to grab some of the shampoo. I tend to use the Tresemme shampoo when I've run out of my baby shampoo, but 90% of the time I'll actually use baby shampoo. It's really good because it's really gentle on your brushes. So a little bit onto the palm of my hand. And next I'm going to wet the brush, keeping it downwards at all times. And then I'm just going to start working the brush into the palm of my hand. Remember when we're doing this, we always want to keep the brush facing downwards, never letting any of the water go up into the silver part of the brush because that's where the glue is and that's where it's going to release the bristles. What I'm going to do now is rinse that off. Next, I'm going to take my absorbent tea towel and just rub it into the towel, getting rid of any of the excess water so it dries much faster. Then once we're done drying that off, I'm going to take this brush tree and I got this off a store called Rouge Boutique. So all you do is just stick the brush upwards and all it's going to do is hang there until it's dry, drawing the water at the bottom but also not damaging the brush insides as well. Then once you're done, all you do is pull it through the top and then you're ready to go. For the face brush, I'm going to show you how to clean it using a textured cleaning glove and this is by Sigma. It's really a lifesaver I find. All it is is just different textures. You've got your wash, your rinse, and then you've got your eye wash and rinse over here. So all I'm going to do is wet the glove and then wet your brush as well. Next, I'm going to pop a little bit of the shampoo just into the middle of the glove. And then all we're going to do is work that brush right into it. And as you can see, it really gets all the product out. All we're going to do is squeeze the brush between our thumb and finger, just in this little part right here. And that's just going to draw the excess water out. And it's also going to shape the brush. Then you have two clean brushes, and I find these ones do take a couple of hours to dry just because they are nice and dense. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learnt a little bit about it. The main thing I want to keep in your guys' mind is that when you're drying them, keeping them upside down. Just because these brushes are really good quality, I find. I don't want to wreck them, have the bristles falling, um, detach themselves from the glue. So keeping them upside down while they're drying is definitely going to prevent that and you will have them for many years to come. If you guys are interested in becoming a makeup artist, definitely leave a comment below for myself or QC or their personal links will be below their Facebook, Instagram, email, Twitter and also my personal links and YouTube account. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day or night and I'll see you next time. Bye.